So for the news video this week, I'm going to be having some gameplay in the background. Let me know in the comments uh, if you like gameplay in the background. Leave a like, let me know. Uh, if you don't like it, I can always switch back to just having images uh, from the games that I'm talking about. But some people recommended I try putting some gameplay, so let me know what you all think. So, this week is a big week for Fortnite. Fortnite right now is at its probably highest in terms of popularity. Uh, probably in the last five months, I'd say six months, it's like huge resurgence right now. A lot of streamers are returning to play the game, YouTubers, professional players. Uh, we had an amazing season four end of season event featuring Galactus and now chapter two. Season five of Fortnite has come out and it features the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. And of course, Baby Yoda's real name is not Baby Yoda, but that's what we're calling him because that's what uh, I guess is the most spoiler safe uh, name for him right now because uh, I know some people aren't caught up on Mandalorian. But just amazing collab right now going on, and that it doesn't end there. There's a lot more. So season uh, five of Fortnite dropped. It's huge. Lots of new locations, old returning locations like Tilted Towers is back. Uh, people are just having a great time with the game. All the weapons, abilities, and things. It it's the best. Like I'm having the most fun with Fortnite right now. Uh, Probably since like, I don't know, since season 9, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, since season 9 of Fortnite, uh, I didn't really like season 10, I gotta be honest, and every season in chapter 2 was fun, but season 5 right now is by far the most fun, cause I love all the weapons, I like everything on the map, the locations, it's just so much fun, they even brought back trios mode, which is very popular. And it doesn't end there. So suddenly, Fortnite showed off, or basically, it wasn't even Fortnite, it was a leak uh, appeared about a Fortnite Legends series. And we got some leaks that Samus from the Metroid series on Nintendo would be showing up in Fortnite. Then we got a leak that Master Chief from the Halo series was going to be showing up in Fortnite. And then we got a leak that Kratos from the God of War series on PlayStation was going to be showing up in Fortnite. And now Kratos officially has come out in Fortnite. This is a groundbreaking moment because Kratos, unlike John Wick, is not from a movie. He is another video game character showing up in Fortnite. And he's not a video game character created by Epic Games. Uh, he's from another brand, another company, PlayStation. So this is insane. People are saying that the world has completely uh, opened up to the possibility now of, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog skins, Super Mario, uh, who knows, like GTA skins and Fortnite, like anything is possible now. So this is crazy. So we have Kratos officially in Fortnite from God of War. And Xbox and Nintendo fans will be getting their own respective skins in the game with Master Chief and Samus. So we don't we don't have an idea when those are gonna be out, but it should be in the next few months or so, so that's gonna be awesome. Uh next we got even more news about Travis Scott and his collaboration with Sony. So apparently Travis Scott and Sony have a lot more stuff they're working on than they let on. You know, people thought that Travis Scott just did some promotion for the PlayStation 5, you know, promoting it, and that's about it. But now we got some rumors coming out from insiders in the games industry saying that Travis Scott is going to get a limited edition Travis Scott edition PlayStation 5 console. So the PlayStation 5 is already like the hottest selling PlayStation ever made. Uh, it's impossible to get one right now. So can you imagine if Travis Scott released like a limited time only 
100,000 PlayStation 5 consoles made only, like, I don't know, I don't think he'll, he'll make, like, 100,000 consoles, maybe he'll make, like, 10,000 limited edition Travis Scott PlayStation 5s, like, those would sell out in a matter of seconds, because the PS5 is already so, so sought after, and anything Travis Scott does is always, like, a hype collab, all the people, like, come out trying to, like, buy them and resell them at the highest price possible, but, yeah, apparently Travis Scott is gonna be having his own unique PS5 console, so I wonder what he's gonna do with it, it might have some kind of, like, special design or look on the outside, so I can't wait to see that, and he might get his own PlayStation 5 game, uh, this isn't the first time that a celebrity has gotten a video game based on them, but it seems like Travis Scott could be working with some developers to make a game, and he's involved with it, so, you know, knowing Travis Scott, it might involve music, it might involve trippy visuals, some kind of journey experience, you know, think of like an Astro World experience, but in VR or something like that. Uh, Travis Scott is working on new music and a new album. Fans are speculating that maybe this upcoming game could be tied to his upcoming music album. So we don't know anything yet, but it's gonna be insane. So I'm sure, I'm sure they're, they're working on something amazing. Next, Call of Duty Warzone leaks the return of Alcatraz map. So, people are very excited. Uh, Call of Duty Warzone new season, by the way, was supposed to be releasing already, but it was delayed to the 16th of December. So, uh, people still have to wait a couple more days for the new season of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Because uh, the season one for Cold War is going to drop, and then they're going to start updating Call of Duty Warzone with new content and returning maps. So, yeah, they, I guess it's because Black Ops Cold War is, like, very popular right now that they kind of delayed new season stuff, so we're gonna have to wait. But it looks insane, so if you're into Call of Duty, you can expect Season 1 for Black Ops Cold War to drop on December 16th, and Call of Duty Warzone is gonna be getting the Alcatraz map back, so people are very excited about that. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Fall Guys is getting Doom Slayer. Yes, Doom Slayer. Basically, the Doom guy from the Doom games. He's gonna get a special costume in Fall Guys. Now I know what everyone says, that Fall Guys is a dead game and no one plays it anymore. But it's still fa fairly popular, you know, it still gets streamed. YouTubers still play it. And if you go online right now, you'll find a game very, very quickly, because it's still, you know, people are still playing it. Uh, so, that's awesome. It's going to be getting a Doom skin very, very soon. Uh, what else, what else do we got here? Just trying to get through all the news, you know. <laughs> uh, Doom Eternal. Okay, speaking of Doom, Doom Eternal is finally coming out on Nintendo Switch. New trailer came out, and it looks amazing. Uh, reviewers and, like, early impressions so far have been very, very positive. People are saying that Doom Eternal on the Nintendo Switch looks very, very good. Uh, considering the Switch is a very, you know, low-spec system, it doesn't have the best graphics or anything like that. Uh, they did a fantastic job with the game. It looks really, 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 really good. And you're going to be able to play it in just a few days. I think it drops on the 8th of December. So if you want to play Doom Eternal on your Switch, it's coming out in just a few days. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? What else do we got here? Um, this is interesting. So the Pokemon Company, yes, Pokemon, the brand, you know, they released an ASMR video, an official ASMR Pikachu video, with Pikachu just, you know, playing around in a room, jumping around, making Pika Pika noises, and let me tell you, it 
it's strangely super relaxing. I never thought that Pikachu just chilling and having some fun would be so relaxing, but it actually was. Um, so I highly recommend going to check out the Pokemon ASMR video featuring Pikachu. It's official, so this is not fan-made. It's very professional. Sound quality is amazing. It actually relaxed me, so if you're a Pokemon fan, a Pikachu fan, you gotta check it out. Just came out this week. Cyberpunk 2077 release is right around the corner. Just a couple more days and Cyberpunk is out. Uh, some people already have their hands on the game. And let me tell you, they're saying some crazy things. So, apparently the map for Cyberpunk 2077 is twice as big as the GTA 5 map. So if you play a lot of GTA 5, you know that game is huge. Well, it seems like Cyberpunk 2077 is twice that size. So you're going to be able to explore an enormous area. That's so cool. I can't wait to play this game. Next, a rumor came out that Oscar Isaac is working on a Metal Gear Solid movie. He'll be playing Solid Snake. So if any of you ever played Metal Gear Solid games, you know how awesome they are. I love that series. Uh, and yeah, I guess they're making a movie based off of Metal Gear Solid. Uh, for those that don't know, it's like a military game. Uh, <laughs> and that's putting it like very generically. I know people that are fans of the series will hate to hear me say that, but it, you know, if you like military war, uh, going on missions and very cool characters and things like that, Metal Gear Solid is a video game series to check out. It's all about stealth and being secretive, and it, it's an awesome series. I played all the games, so. Oscar Isaac, he will be playing as Solid Snake. I think that's a good choice, a good cast for Solid Snake. I don't know if he has the voice for Solid Snake, but he could definitely, like, look the part. So that's that's apparently happening. Um, this is crazy, an RPG from the PlayStation 1 era that has long been forgotten, except by the like super hardcore fans uh is being remastered for the playstation 4 uh the game is called saga frontier uh it's part of the saga series pretty popular series in japan never really took off in the west but it does have a dedicated fan following community that absolutely loves these games and a saga frontier was the first one on playstation 1 and it's like never been re-released so now they're going to be bringing a special remastered HD version of the game out for PS4 in 2021, so next year. I'm very excited. I hope Square Enix does the same thing with the Xenogears, Chrono Cross, because they have a lot of RPGs that deserve a lot more love. Uh, I think all their games should be remastered, so I'm happy. Uh, this week in memes, <laughs> Assassin's Creed Valhalla was getting seriously clowned on by a lot of people playing the game. Uh, subreddit and online forums just blew up with people talking about how terrible the, uh, like, animations for the children in the game looked. Like, apparently the faces for all the kids in Assassin's Creed Valhalla are a thing of nightmares. I'll post uh, some screenshot photos here so you can all take a look. But, uh, yeah, yikes, uh, Ubisoft. Why do all the kids look like 55-year-old, like, I don't know, they look like 55 years old, seriously depressed people, like, just the eyes and, like, face does not look like children. Uh, imagine walking into a room and seeing a kid that looks like one of these kids. I would be freaked out. So yeah, a lot of people are making fun of that in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, so I thought I would share that, because it's pretty funny. Uh, we got some new screenshots for upcoming PlayStation 5 and PS4 exclusive Kenna Bridge of Spirits. An 
and wow this game looks beautiful i can't wait to play this on playstation 5 i need this game right now and i hope i pronounce the name correctly i don't know if it's kena or kenna bridge of spirits like i said but it looks awesome and definitely check out the new screenshots if you can next persona 5 strikers is officially coming to the west with a Nintendo Switch version coming out in February 2021. So this is a big deal because usually Persona games take forever to be localized by Atlas. So we're actually getting it pretty close in February, you know, that's just a few months away. So fans are excited to play this uh, game. It's more of like a hack and slash beat em up warriors type game set in the Persona 5 world but it still has story content that's linked to the official game, so a lot of the fans are very excited about this one. And lastly, we got some sad news for Sony fans. Uh, veteran Sony Bend directors have officially departed after being at the company for decades. Uh, they worked on so many PlayStation games over there. Sony Bend is a studio they make uh, well, they've worked on so many PlayStation product projects, so it's very sad to see some people that have been there for a very long time leave. Um, some people feel like this is the beginning of the end for maybe first-party Sony games or something, because they were a pillar of a lot of Sony's, like, you know, early games and things like that. So to see people leaving means that Sony might be shifting their focus in a different direction this generation. So, yeah, uh, PlayStation community is a little bit mixed on this news right now. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see what it means. Uh, but yeah, definitely sad to see some people that have been there for a long time uh, depart the company. And that's all the video game news for this week. So thank you all for listening, for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. So long.